Hello everybody, Dan Babis. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance here on the channel. All right, so today we're going to be talking about Alina Kasha and an update in the situation uh, that uh, she was fired on the show. So if you guys watched the last video I did or if you've been following 90 Day Fiance News, you know that Alina Kasha was fired about a week, a week and a half ago over her old racist posts that have surfaced uh, in recent weeks uh, as she came on the season of uh, Before the 90 Days. Now, Alina came online uh, yes, two days ago and uh, did a video, um, you know, apologizing and explaining uh, what she did. So before I get into that video, uh, if you guys remember, you know, Alina, she, she had a few posts. So there wasn't just one, there was three, I believe, if not four. Um, she had one where uh, from 2014, I believe, where she was pretending like she was going to an N word party uh, at a local party in Russia, St. Petersburg uh, or somewhere in Russia. And she used the N word a bunch of times, like six, seven times in that post. Now, she did paraphrase most of the post. So the N word was also posted on this party's page. Uh, we're, we're assuming here. We're, we're not sure. Uh, but she still used uh, that N word in that post. And she also had a different post where she changed the G for Q and then she had like a beard. And uh, that was another post that was very, very offensive. She also did one about being the 134th wife, which was offensive to, to Muslims because, uh, you know, she was hinting that Muslims have a lot and a lot of wives. So, um, you know, that was another racially offensive uh, post. And there was another one uh, where she joked uh, about, I think, Hugh Grant and how uh, his wife was Asian or his girlfriend. Uh, and she kind of made it seem like that was a bad thing. So she's had a few strikes against her. And, you know, at the end of the day, TLC decided that uh, they were not going to have any more of Alina and they terminated her over these posts. Now, my opinion is, is that TLC was scared that because there wasn't just the one, there was three, four, they were scared that more would surface uh, as the season progressed and it was going to lead to more controversy. Just my opinion. But, uh, you know, when you have a few strikes going against you, uh, you know, if there are four, there could be five, there could be ten. Who knows? So at the end of the day, they decided to can her. Now, this is in contrast with if you guys have been following there is a Joe Rogan controversy. Uh, Joe Rogan, uh, kind of a bit of the target of cancel culture recently. And cancel culture hasn't managed to cancel Joe Rogan. First, it was because of the host he was having on a show and allegedly spreading misinformation. That's what they said. Uh, and when dad didn't cancel Joe Rogan, then someone went ahead and did a compilation of uh, every instance where he used the N-word. Uh, not just the N-word, but actually said it on his show compile that into a video put it out online and that was uh phase two of trying to cancel joe rogan uh and it didn't work either now joe rogan did apologize for that uh, and he also said that when he used that word was because he was quoting a rap song or he was quoting somebody like he wasn't calling anybody the n-word uh, and i think there are some parallels with alina because you know what she said is bad all the stuff that all the posts are, are really bad horrific but she didn't call anybody the N-word, which is also in contrast to what a baby girl, Lisa Ham did on her season. She called Usman the N-word. Now, I don't think that we heard her say the N-word, but uh, Usman accused her of saying it and Lisa Ham confirmed it. So as a result, TLC canned Lisa Ham as well. We also have the Whoopi uh, Goldberg controversy and her calling uh, or saying that the Holocaust was not about race. It was just about two different groups of people, uh, which, you know, kind of drew a lot of controversy because the Holocaust was, you know, it was about race at the time because the Jews considered, uh, I mean, the Germans considered the Jews an inferior race. And so a lot of controversy. But uh, in these cases, Whoopi and um, Joe Rogan not canceled. Alina Kasha, on the other hand, cancel. So just an interesting parallel to draw between these two. Now let's get to the article that I wanted to bring to you guys today. Let's take a look at this. So this comes from Screen Rant. Alina breaks her silence after being fired for racist posts. So let's take a look here. Alina Kasha posts a lengthy apology video on YouTube following her last B90 uh, episode after being fired from 90 Day Fiance over her old posts. And let's scroll down a little bit 
Russian singer Alina posted a nearly hour-long apology video after being fired from 90 Day Fiancé over old social media posts that recently surfaced, uh, which mocked different races and religions. Alina began uh, appearing on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Day Season 5 in December with her American co-star Caleb Greenwood. The racist post made TLC publish a statement about how they've discontinued filming with Alina and then sh and that she won't be appear on the tell-all, any more seasons of the franchise, and any future episodes of Before the 90 Days. So there you have it. That's it. They are done on the show, period. Episode 9 of the spinoff concluded with Alina and Caleb's storyline in which he broke up with her because she's a little person. If you guys watched the episode, then you saw that indeed Caleb uh, told Alina that, that that was it. They were done. He didn't have any interest in dating a little person now also if you guys uh watch my last video that i did on this you know that uh i personally i never thought that this was a legit relationship you remember that alina and caleb they had a, a 13 year friendship online and so it was it's always been my opinion because i feel like both of them are narcissistic in their own way both of them enjoy the spotlight they, they want to be seen on camera and so it was always my theory that they got together as friends and said, hey, you know what would be great? Let's appear on the show. Let's do 90 Day Fiance. You know, it's okay. We're not going to be together for the long term, but let's just appear on the show. At least that's my thought. Uh, you know, I, that's just how I feel about them because I just, I don't know, just the way the whole thing unfolded, uh, I was never convinced that this was a real and legit relationship. So I'm not exactly shocked that it didn't work out. It's exactly as I predicted. Let's just go back and read the article here. And um, on January 11, Alina shared a throwback using a 2015 Instagram post of hers, which used the N-word in the caption. It wasn't long before more racist posts by Alina were found on her Facebook and Instagram pages. This included one from 2014, well, uh, where Alina described the, uh, the party, the N-word party that we talked about before. There was another one in 2017 where she was seen uh, wearing a sari alongside a caption about being the 134th wife, which, like we said before, is, uh, you know, is uh, offensive towards uh, Islam Islamic culture because, you know, polygamy. Yet another post from 2015 saw Alina gushing over Hugh Grant, but seemed to be sad over his wife being Asian. So... There you have it. Um, and the YouTube video shared on February 8th, Alina claimed she was told to keep silent and not say anything. I'm assuming by the TLC producers. This is probably because um, they were deciding what to do with her fate. Now, once they fired her, I'm guessing they released her of any contractual obligations. I reached out to Alina for an interview uh, and uh, she decided to go and do it on her YouTube herself, which which I think is, is fair to her because she can put out the message the way she wants to. Um, let's keep reading here. However, now former 90 Day Fiance cast member Alina wanted to address anyone affected by her comments. I never wanted to hurt anyone at all, and I'm extremely sorry I did. I won't ever use any of these derogatory words again. I acknowledge my fault, and once again, I'm truly, sincerely sorry, said Alina. She promised to work on her ignorance and educate herself. Then she asserted that she used the QQ letters to spell the N-word, in her first post because she'd seen it on Facebook and thought it was a cooler and better way to say dang or darn instead of shh for shoot. She said she took it from Kanye West's Gold Digger song and wasn't doing a blackface in the photo, according to her Medium uh, transcript. That was the one where she was she had like a beard on. Um, and let's uh, go on to uh, read the rest here. Former reality star Alina Recall claiming the N-word post was photoshopped initially that's right that was one of the that was one of the huge mistakes she made instead of owning it up right from the get-go she made excuses and said it was photoshopped and that was a big big mistake because it didn't just make the problem go away and she says that she panicked and got scared and that's why she did it uh she addressed the n-word part of the facebook post by adding again i knew that the n-word wasn't a good word but at the time, I didn't fully know America's history with racism and how bad that word is and how it's used to discriminate and demean people. She thought it was more as a cuss word and like an exclamation and didn't know it was used to attack people. She also apologized to the Muslim community for her comment and um, also apologized to Asian people. She says she didn't mean any offense by it. She exclaimed that people who are minorities can and do discriminate against other mi minorities. She doesn't expect foreigners to know the derogatory words for disabled people 
in Russian. So there you have it. That's her apology. So I suggest you go watch it for yourself. I'll leave the link down below and make up your own mind about whether her apology is uh, sincere or not. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a big thumbs up. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.